haven't done a video in a couple weeks, I want to go ahead and update y'all on a really probably big part of my life that's about to change. I actually am moving to California in 15 days. This isn't really the point of the video, but I kind of wanted to get to this before I get to what the look is going to be on today. I'm moving in 15 days to the Los Angeles area, which I am so excited. Yes, finally, I have been waiting for this. This has been one of the biggest dreams of mine is to move to California specifically. The atmosphere there and the people are so kind and I mean the people here in Kentucky are amazing as well but I just really need that change in life and just something different and I mean we have this entire world why not explore it so that is just really where I'm at right now in life so you'll see me in a different location in 15 days it's insane I still I'm just like pinching myself is this real I can't believe it but anyways let's get to the look <laughs> today I did a tutorial using the 35 Bow palette again don't be mad at me this is my favorite palette guys it's super convenient for me right now because i'm in the transition of moving so most of all of my makeup is most of the little things is already packed so this is just really really convenient to grab and do like i could do any look with this basically because you have your neutrals and these are my colors right here these coppery and oranges this is my go-to palette I really hope that y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more to come. Bye guys. Okay, so first we're going to start by priming our eyelids with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And then I go in with a dampened beauty blender and just blend that out. And then I'm going to go in with the lightest shade in the 35O palette. And I'm just using this to kind of set the concealer we just put on. And this basically is just covering up the veins and the discoloration in my eyelids. And then I'm going to go in and blend it in a little bit more. And I'm going to go in with this light peach shade and just use it as the transition shade for all the other shadows to set on top of. And I'm going to blend this in using circular motions and this just assures that it is nice and blended in the crease and so all the other shades can lay nicely on top of it. And then I'm just going to basically, well obviously, do the same exact thing to the other side and blend it in nicely. And then I like to go in with a completely clean blending brush. This just assures that all the edges are really, really blended out and look really seamless. And then I'm going to go in with this more of a softer brown. And I'm focusing this mainly on the outer half of my eye. I'm using the same exact brush that we used with the peach shade because this is just a really simple look. I don't really like to mess with changing the brushes up too much whenever I'm in a hurry. So I'm just basically blending that right on top of the peach shade but only in the outer corner of the eye. And then I like to blend everything out one last time just to make sure everything looks as flawless as possible. And then I'm going to use that light shade in the palette to highlight my brow bone. And I go in with more of a flat brush. And be careful with this shade because it is super stark white. And if you get too much, it may be a little bit too harsh underneath your brow. So I like to wipe it off a little bit with my finger. And then I'm going to go in with this more of a duochrome shade. It's really not doing it justice on camera at all. In person, it shows up as more of like an iridescent pink. And then like in some light, it looks completely white. And then some light, it doesn't. So it looks completely different on camera. And then I like to just go in with the same brush we've been using and just make sure I blend everything out. And now it's time for the scariest but best part eyeliner. I'm taking the Maybelline Gel Liner and I'm just using a angled Morphe brush and I just recently purchased this Maybelline gel eyeliner I for the longest time have been using the felt tip liners and it just didn't get the desired look that I was going for and it just seemed impossible to film honestly so I purchased this because a ton of people have been raving about it and say that it's like the most long wearing and the blackest eyeliner they've used and I definitely agree with that. It like whenever I wash it off at night it stays on even after I use like makeup remover it's insane but I really like this eyeliner because I can lay down the base you know on my eyelid and then go in and do my wing next and that just helps me do it a step at a time and it's just a lot easier and so you should definitely try this eyeliner out it's like butter and it glides on the lip perfectly and 
And recently I've loved going in with the simple micellular water and I <laughs> spilt it all over my lap in that clip. But I use this on a um, Q-tip just to sharpen up the edges and clean up any mistakes that I've made. And then I like to go in and do one extra step with my liquid liner. I just use this to really, really sharpen up the very ends because I'm really particular about the ends of my eyeliner being super sharp and perfect. Next, I'm going to go in with this Marc Jacobs Spotlight Glow Stick. And I have been absolutely loving this underneath my foundation. I just place it on basically the parts that I will eventually place my powder, or not foundation, my powder highlighter on. And this just is a great base to give you that like glow from within look. And I've just really been enjoying it. And now it's time for foundation. I've been having to mix shade W4 and W6 in the L'Oreal True Match. This is a really great foundation to give you that like kind of dewy look, especially if you have oily skin because I have really oily skin and a lot of the more dewy foundations that are out right now just are way too oily on my skin and they just don't quite last as long as I need them to. But this True Match foundation is definitely one that I reach towards whenever I need to mix shades, when I'm in that awkward transition of getting a little bit darker in the summer. So definitely check it out because it's not too cakey or anything. And you'll see that I would go in and put one layer and then I right here I put a little bit more just to get that desired coverage that I'm going for. And you can honestly layer this up a ton and not get the cake face. And this is just something that I personally like to do. I went in with this Revlon Nearly Naked Powder and a fluffy Morphe brush. And I just set my forehead because my forehead creases like crazy. And then I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Master Precise um, Concealer. I think that it, that's what it's called. I could be totally wrong. I'll list all the products down below. But I like to use this Morphe. It's kind of like a stippling brush. And I use it to obviously conceal my dark circles. I put it right where my like sides of my mouth are because I have really bad darkness right there. And so I just find that the little bit of extra lightness helps to brighten that up. And then I like to go in and just blend everything out with my Beauty Blender. And now I'm going to go in with this Airspun powder, and this is what I like to use to bake. It's a super, super lightweight powder, and it really brightens up the under eye area. So I like to just put a ton of powder underneath the eyes, and then I will do it basically everywhere where I place that concealer that we did just a minute ago. And this is just really great at making sure that concealer does not budge at all throughout the day. And then I put that, you know, on my forehead, on my chin, on my nose, and then we will let that sit anywhere from about 5 to 10 minutes, whatever you have time for really. And then I'm going to take the Kat Von D shade in light palette and take the very first shade and the middle shade just because I'm at that like awkward summer tan stage. And I place a ton of um, bronzing powder on my forehead because mama's got a big forehead and this just really creates a good old shadow to cover up a little bit of that big forehead problem that I got going on. <laughs> And then I obviously put it in like the hollows of my cheek. And whenever you put that powder to bake, it really makes the perfect guideline to where exactly your contour should go. So if you have trouble kind of finding the hollows of your cheek, this is a really good technique to get it precisely where it should go. And now I'm going to go in with a completely clean stippling brush and I just really like to use this to blend out all of my contour. And then I will go in and blend out all of that powder. 
And I'm honestly not doing this in any particular way. I'm just blending where I feel like the contour may be a little bit too harsh. And then I always go back in and just kind of, if I got powder on any of the contour, I just blend it away. And then I got a little pimple on my face that I'm not too happy about. But a little trick you can do is to take a nude liner and just cover it right up. And then I'm going to go in with this Milani Baked Blush. And this has a little bit of luminosity to it. That's why I used it from a Summer Glow look. And I just place that on the apples of the cheek and blend it back to the temples. And here I'm just taking a completely clean brush and just blending out that uh, blush. <laughs> And then I went ahead and put one lash on, but I'm using the Revlon Lash Glue and the Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes, and these are amazing. You can get them at basically any drugstore, or maybe it's just Walmart. I'm not for sure. That's where I got mine, but they are so easy to apply, guys. Like, watch. I just set it on my lash, and it just, it's there. Like, I always go back in, you know, and push it down just a little bit to make sure it's in place, but these lashes are so easy to apply like they basically magnetize onto my eyelid I can't explain it you just have to try them they're amazing but um, I didn't say this before I have to let my lash glue though dry basically until it's clear whenever I use the Revlon one or it kind of moves around on my lash line so just make sure you really let that lash glue get kind of sticky add a little bit of definition to the lower lash line. I'm just going in with that peachy shade that we previously used on the upper lid and I'm just taking a really small detailed brush and just basically blending that all over the bottom lash line. And then I decided that wasn't entirely enough definition down there, so I picked a little bit of a darker, more of like an orange shade, and just placed that on the outer half of the eye. I didn't go too far into the inner corner just because I wanted to keep that darker shade on the outside of the lid. And then obviously we're going to blend everything out like we always do because blending is key. And the Rimmel Nude Liner is making its appearance again. This is such a multitask liner, I guess you could say. I use it for everything, but now I'm just going to use it to kind of brighten up the waterline. This just gives you that wide-eyed doll look, and it's just something that I'm always going for over black eyeliner. I just really like it for the more natural summer looks. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this Lorac uh, mascara, and I'm just going to blend in my natural and falsies. And then I like to go in and add a generous amount of mascara to the bottom lashes. And now it's time for my highlight. I'm going to be using, obviously, the Becca Hill and Jack and Club um, Champagne Pop. This is an amazing highlighter. It gives you the most dewy, beautiful skin ever. I put it on my um, apples of my cheek and then I blend it back to the hairline and this just makes sure that you can see the highlight popping from every angle. And then obviously I put it on the cupid's bow, I put it on my nose, and then here in a second you'll see me put it on the inner corners of my eyes just to give it that little extra pop. And this is like the main part to my summer glow look. It just, this highlighter, I have it on my shoulders too and a little bit on my chest. I don't know if you can tell, but it is so good. I literally could bathe in this highlighter and be totally fine with it. And then sometimes I get a little bit too excited about the highlighter, so I have to go in with a clean brush, and this is just like a little elf brush, and I like to blend it in and make sure that I didn't go too, too harsh. And here's the part where I pop it in the inner corners of my eyes, and this just adds to the wide-eyed effect. And now I'm going to go in with the NYX Dewy Skin Setting Spray. I really enjoyed this just to give me that natural glowy look. And lastly, we're going to go in with the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood. This is such a great moussey like formula and it lasts all day long on me and I really, really enjoy it.
Okay, and that is it for my summer go-to glowy skin look. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more in the future. Bye!